what has Boris Johnson done? He's given a veneer of respectability to Nigel Farage's ca campaign. He has then created the most significant constitutional crisis that uh, I've ever seen in peacetime. He has seriously depleted the value of the nation's savings. He has torn the Tory party apart and he has left the administration of this country with no answers about the direction of economic travel. He's rather like a general who leads his troops to the sound of the guns and then within sight of the battlefield abandons them. And then what you get? You get his principal adjutant seizing the baton and saying that Boris wasn't up for the job in the first place. It's a quite intolerable position. Those are very tough words, Lord Heseltine, but Boris Johnson supporters would say this isn't all, isn't all his fault. This is the result of a very divisive, very competitive and difficult EU referendum campaign. But that's what he is responsible for. He did it. And every time we warned of the consequences, he just said, oh no, it's all Project Fear. Well, I tell you, Project Fear is now Project Fact and it's to be seen in the consequences and it will be seen day by day, week by week, until certainty is restored. One of the greatest myths of the Johnson-Farage campaign was that the Europeans would be so desperate to get us to stay on side that they would offer us more or less any terms. What did they actually do? They said, on your bike. To be clear then, you're suggesting that Boris Johnson's motives in backing the Leave campaign were not entirely honourable? I never mentioned his motives. I merely said the consequence of what he did, which was to give respectability to Nigel Farage's campaign, oh. actually had the consequences of a narrow win for the referendum. Right. The consequences were predictable, they were warned about, and we now have them. They have to be coped with. But that doesn't stop me making a judgment about the general who led the troops into sure. the battle and okay. then abandoned them. But don't you have the same contempt then for Chris Grayling, Andrea Leadsom, Michael Gove? They were no, part of that be, campaign too. No, be, be, so be, be, be quite clear. Boris Johnson was the guy who gave the style, who made the jokes, who masterminded the strategy and abandoned the troops in the heat of the battle. Could you give me uh, your idea of who perhaps you'll be uh, backing in the campaign then for the leadership? No, no. I want to see what happens now. I want to see what people say. And I just frankly just weep that we've lost David Cameron as Prime Minister a year after he succeeded in getting an overall majority for the first time in 20 years for my party. You've held senior positions in the Conservative Party over a number of years, Lord Heseltine. Um, this must be one of, in, it seems to me, that this must be one of the darker moments in the history of this party in the last few years. It is as dark a moment as I've lived through. 